Good happy Thursday evening. I'm Riley King and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. First up, man accused of solicitating sex from 12 year old girls. A Nashua man is facing charges after he was accused of trying to solicitate sex from two 12-year-old girls. AOP calls on Hassan to sign pledge against third-party money. Republican U.S. Senator Kelly Ayotte has challenged her polit politician Democratic opponent Governor Maggie Hassan to sign a pledge to keep third-party money out of the race. Man charged with growing pot says he used drug to treat cancer symptoms. An Atkinson couple charged with manufacturing a and possessing large quantities of marijuana is asking that their case to be continued. Lower oil prices help at pump hurt investments. Falling oil prices are bringing down the stock prices of energy companies, but the efforts on household budgets is completed. Ice still unsafe in many parts of New Hampshire. After one man died on Patakwat Pond Tuesday evening after falling through the ice and another almost died trying to save him, officials are warning the public to stay away from the ice. Arctic blast on the way. Scattered snow showers will wind down this evening, then the Focus shifts to the very cold air that takes over starting tonight. Gintas confirms he is seriously considering running for governor. Manchester Mayor Ted Gassis confirmed Thursday that he is seriously considering running for governor in 2016, calling for a strong partnership between Concord and local communities and between state and local governments and general and private sector. New Hampshire Attorney General to begin probe of possible voting related violations. New Hampshire Attorney General's office has decided to begin an investigation of possible violations of the state law governing voting related conduct deputed in video made public this week by a controversial active actives group. Portsmouth host third annual Fire and Ice Festival. The third annual Fire and Ice Festival will be held February 10th through the 15th with lots of winter fun for families during the day and night. Threatening charges dropped against man accused of kidnapping. New Hampshire prosecutors have dropped threatening and other charges against a man accused of kidnapping and raping a teenager girl over the course of nine months. Nude woman seen performing laud acts at Welcome Center. Employees at the Seabrook Rest Area slash Welcome Center called police on Thursday morning when they saw a naked woman performing laud acts inside the building, police said. Laconia Fire displaced nine people. Nine people were displaced in Laconia after a house fire Wednesday evening. Newcastle police investigate after man's body found. 
Newcastle police are investigating after a body was found in a water in the water behind a home off Wild Rose Lane on Thursday morning. Primary over U.S. Senate battle resumes. Presidential primary is over and the state races races are gearing up. We're looking ahead and back and report on the latest primary voter turnout figures. Clinton seeks debate bonus after New Hampshire route. Hillary Clinton has one goal in Thursday's Democratic presidential debate. Stop Bernie Sanders. The rivals will meet at 9 p.m. Eastern in Milwaukee, Wisconsin for the PBS News Hour debate being simulcast on CNN. It will be their first clash since Sanders delivered a 20-point dubbering to Clinton in Tuesday's New Hampshire primary, which followed Clinton's win by narrowest of margins in the Iowa caucus. Royal Caribbeans apologizes to Anthem ship passengers battered by storm. What was to be a seven-day cruise from New Jersey to Bahamas and back came to an early end Wednesday after massive Anthem of Seas back in port. And that does it for the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Thursday night. Good night, everyone. Bye.